Get hey guys. Canadian bullshit out of here. Today you. we're tasting Caribou Crossing. That single barrel. Touching this Norland glass. <laughs> Canadian whiskey. Move it along. So Down with the motherland. It's got a beautiful cork. And it has the best pop known to man. It's not Thank bad, you. it's just not good. It's Canadian. <laughs> What's. It's, it's gonna, look, it's gonna go to jail if it says the wrong thing. This thing won the San Francisco Spirits Award. Gold in 2017. In 17. Yeah, I was about to say, in 2017 it did. We're about to see if it wins the award today. <laughs> We're gonna see if it wins an award today with us. Where was this whiskey distilled, Matthew? Right here in Kentucky. <laughs> Brian, tell them about the glasses we're about to pour in. Northern glasses, they're, they're really cool glasses, actually. We're the whiskey wimps. Get over your side of the table. <laughs> I'm Brian, he's Matt. I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last month of March, and we're the whiskey wimps. The last month of March, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> The last, last March we're ever gonna experience. <laughs> the last month of March you last ever, month. ever. No, there's gonna be no more marches after this. Cause let's say 2020 was bad. 2021 is already slow out the shoot. Let me tell you boys. Okay. First of all, if we're gonna tell you something, it's gonna be that this is not distilled in Kentucky and we are not in Kentucky. This is distilled in Indiana. This is MGP, which is the major producer of whiskey in Indiana. And there are lots of different whiskey companies that source their whiskey from MGP, which is in Indiana. Can you this is one of them. What? See the color that comes in that glass? It's pretty cool. That is awesome. It's like there's a light underneath it. And yet there's not. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I have one of these that are clear that you can see what's actually happening underneath, which is also cool. I don't want to shout out the glasses too much. Just. Awesome glasses. Awesome. Go check them. Norlin, I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to get one of these glasses. I highly recommend them. They're not the cheapest glasses in the world, but they definitely make the whiskey experience. Excuse me. So this is a blend of two different mash bills from MGP. One is a high rye mash bill, one is a low rye mash bill. One of them is actually only 51% rye, which is as low as you can go and still be a rye whiskey. And I'm willing to bet that it's heavier on that low rye mash bill. Just I've had this before, obviously, but so there's. I haven't, so let me go in with the notes here. It's got the rye. It's got the rye notes in there. It's got the grassiness, Ooh. the light, the like slight spice, but only slight. And I'll tell you why in a second. No, I'm getting heavy nutmeg right off the nose. Heavy, heavy nutmeg. <sighs> These glasses are phenomenal. Just the nosing. It's almost it's almost like cheating. It is. It almost cheats uh, the nose. You no, know, we, we should do an episode where we compare both. Oh, two, two of the same whiskey in one in, in the Glen Clare and one in the Northern Glass? Exactly. Absolutely. We'll Would you guys that. like to see that? Comment down below if you'd like to see us compare these two glasses together. Not that he knows what he's talking about. So my, my point of thinking that the blend is high in the low rye mash bill the 51% is makes up more of this because you get that corn. It's heavy spice. Like I don't. To me, to me, yeah, the spice from the rye. Mm -hmm. But to me, this is like if a straight rye whiskey had a baby with I'm picturing it some, with something from Jim Beam, something with that nuttiness, that corn mash bill. Almost like almost like if Booker's and Whistle Pig had a baby. That's what I'm. That's I don't get thinking. any Booker's out of this whatsoever. Well, this is where. Drunk. <laughs> that's that's why, that's why I think I like this so much is because I love whistle pig, which is also a sourced whiskey. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Like I said, drunk. Really enjoying the month. Mm, that is a fantastic. I haven't gone in for the taste yet. It went on my whiskers. Pretty strong with a push. You haven't tasted it yet? And you're no, to... I tried to and you pushed me and you-, you... Yeah, I'm gonna let you finish this one too. Ooh. Oh, wow. 
That's right, skirt, I'm out. <laughs> if you didn't hear that on the mic. If Whistle Pig <laughs> and Booker's had a baby, it would be Sagamore Spirit. We're the whiskey wimps. Everything's better with whiskey. Everything. And friends? We'll see how that goes next month. <laughs> Guys, if you want to be part of the whiskey wimps, we're gonna put an application down below here at the bottom. Fill it out, let you know if you want to be part with me and someone else over here. Picture yourself over here on my right hand side that we can have on the Whiskey Wimps. Because let me tell you, Brian doesn't know what the heck he is talking about here, guys. Are you not getting the Booker's Meets Whistle Pig off of this? No, I'm not. I'm really not getting Booker's you at all from this. What the hell are you talking about? No, I'm getting Whistle Pig, but I'm not getting Booker's at all. You're not getting that nuttiness, that, that, the re, the Well, I corn. get the nutmeg, yes, but like, it's not the nuttiness though. That's what I'm mm. saying, like, I get the it's nutmeg. Under, it's underneath the, the rye spice. That, that's where I have a problem, is I'm not getting the... We didn't even talk about what we're doing next month. We don't know what we're we doing, next, doing month. next month. We don't know what we're doing next month. Hence. But I'm not getting the, the nuttiness at all. I'm getting the nutmeg, yes. Next month, I say we start with, well, why do they call it nutmeg? There's gotta be some nuttiness to it. Why else would you, the first three letters of the word be nut? Okay, yes, Brian, yes, there is nut, but like, I'm not getting the same Nut that I get from, well, from, Booker's from Booker's is like the nutty of nuttiestness. Exactly, but, but like I'm, if, I'm, if, 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 like, I'm I'm if you're telling me that Whistle Pig and Booker's had a baby, I'm comparing this to like all other rye. Like this is nothing like any of the other rye I've had. It's not. It's not nearly as floral and grassy and spicy and. I'm getting more like it's not getting any floral because we got floral from, from the one previously, but I, I did not get not not. Oh, Forrester, but. This guy's fucking wasted. No, he has the hiccups, but. Yeah, that's a, that's like cartoon wasted. No, it's not. <laughs> that's not cartoon wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Orange floral from the Forrester, no, from the. I'm gonna start carving into your fucking Go table. ahead, I don't care. What you doing, Scrammies? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Who else thinks our whiskey wimps looks like the Wonder Woman icon? No, that was him that pointed that out now, first. I, I pointed out, yes, and he was like, oh. I was like, oh, is that okay? Like, and I said, I, yes, because Wonder Woman's awesome. Uh, unless she tries to sing I'm, John I'll, Lennon songs. <laughs> Come over here and make noise. Come over here and make noise. <laughs> Hillary, I have a question. Who's the best, Matt or Brian? At what? Life. <laughs> well, I did hear you just got fired, so. Well, I got fired? <laughs> oh, that was so mean. <laughs> you fired me? It's, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> I helped you out at Costco. Brian wanted to leave Costco and not buy any of the items that you had put on the list. I said nay. Oh, I know he wanted to. He wanted to leave, and I said nay. I said, we have to get those items. Well, then you're a better friend. So then I'm better than Brian. As a, as a, I don't know what to say. Say what you feel. All right, Hillary, you just buy your own I'm not, I'm not the middle. breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, you were better to me last month. <laughs> that was when you had a job. <laughs> oh! I still get paid. <laughs> Three months. Hey, you told me it was four, Mr. 95%. Again, 95% of the stuff I say is true. 5% not. So is it three or four months then? Hmm? It's up to you to decide. Put it back in there. There you go. Now I'm cool. I'm the whiskey ones, guys. This is going on the bloopers reel. <laughs> Only way to find this kind of content is if you join the Patreons. 
Right now we only have two people on there and Brian's grabbing one of his hats from off screen right now and Stop thinks, giving stop giving me up. Uh, <laughs> fucking snitch. Well, hey, if you join the Patreons, I won't give it up. <laughs> I play baseball. I know I had to hold on to my items that are precious to me. <laughs> That's right. I only split a little bit. Brian tried to ruin that. And I didn't let that happen. I was trying to make it land on your head, to be fair. Not at that angle. Yeah, I know. It was virtually impossible. I got as close as I could. All right. <laughs> All right, short round. <laughs> <laughs>